The Happy Hooker Movie Series, 10 Things You Didn't Know About This Raunchy Ride. If you thought The Happy Hooker was just another cheeky romp through 70s and 80s cinema, think again. This trilogy of biographical comedy films, adapted from Xaviera Hollander's memoirs, offers much more than meets the eye. Join me as we explore 10 little-known facts about this delightfully naughty series. And don't worry, we'll keep it a bit saucy. One from memoir to movie, The Happy Hooker, the 1975 film, is based on the best-selling memoir by Xaviera Hollander, a former high-class call girl. This adaptation, directed by Nicholas Scarro and starring Lynn Redgrave, takes you through the witty and amoral streets of New York, where greed and lust are the main attractions. Two, Lynn Redgrave's professionalism. Lynn Redgrave, who played Xaviera Hollander in the first film, was known for her professionalism on set. Despite the film's risque content, Redgrave approached her role with the decorum of a Shakespearean actress, even while navigating scenes involving bed hopping and body humor. Three, Ebert's disapproval. Not everyone was a fan. The legendary Roger Ebert gave the film a scathing one-star review, suggesting that if Horatio Alger were alive, he'd be appalled. Apparently, Alger's tales of pluck and perseverance didn't quite prepare him for a narrative of entrepreneurial sex work. Four, a sequel with a new star. The sequel, The Happy Hooker Goes to Washington, 1977, saw Joey Heatherton stepping into Xaviera's stilettos. With a tagline like, she served her country the only way she knew how, it's clear this film didn't take itself too seriously. Cameo appearances from George Hamilton and Rip Taylor only added to the farce. 5. International Titles The film's international appeal is evidenced by its various titles. In Spain, it was N. Washington Los Senators Estan Calientes. In Washington, Senators Are Hot. And in Finland, it became Xaviera Washingtonisa, Xaviera in Washington. Because nothing screams international diplomacy like a hooker in high heels. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. 6. Hollywood Bound The final installment the Happy Hooker Goes Hollywood, 1980, starred Martine Beswick and featured none other than Adam West, yes, that man himself. Released in the UK as Hollywood Blue, it brought Xaviera's antics to the glitzy world of Tinseltown, proving that even Hollywood isn't immune to a bit of body humor. 7. Behind the Scenes Drama Redgrave's husband, agent, and manager, John Clark, was notorious for injecting himself into every aspect of the film's production. When the film didn't fare well at the box office, Clark even sued Canon Films for inadequate publicity. The judge, however, was unimpressed and dismissed the case after glancing through Tom's press book. 8. A witty work. Despite its subject matter, the original Happy Hooker movie is often described as a witty work. Who knew a film about a sex worker's life could be so clever? It just goes to show that even the most scandalous stories can have a sophisticated edge. 9. Publicists Guild Recognition The film marked the first on-screen credit for Tom, the publicist, who had worked behind the scenes on several major projects. His involvement ensured that the film received ample attention, even if some of it came from courtroom drama rather than cinema reviews. 10. Friendships and Collaborations Through the filming process, Tom became friends with co-writer William Richard, who later gained fame for cult classics like Winter Kills and American Success Story. Sometimes, the best connections come from the most unexpected projects. So, there you have it. 10 Things You Probably Didn't Know About The Happy Hooker series. Whether you view it as a daring exploration of sexual liberation or just a good old-fashioned comedy romp, there's no denying the series' place in the annals of cult cinema. So next time you're looking for a film with a bit of history, a dash of humor, and a lot of cheek, give The Happy Hooker a whirl. 
just remember to keep your sense of humor and perhaps a pair of high heels close by. Who's your daddy?